Hey loves, it's me. I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be a hair talk over this blonde bombshell you see right here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it, or the specs of the hair. I ordered this hair from AliExpress. I had never found any reviews on YouTube of it, but there were a lot of orders. Uh, the name of the company is Posh Babe Hair, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the way I stumbled on it was I was just curious of what 613 hair would look like on my skin tone. I've always wanted to do blonde. I've done it before, but not like all the way. So I, I typed in 613 frontal wig and this popped up. Well, whenever I search things in AliExpress, I always filter it first by the number of orders because I feel like if a whole bunch of people are ordering this hair, it must be some pretty good hair, right? So I went through a few reviews, saw some pictures, and just went ahead and was like, you know what, I'm just going to and buy it. If it's a loss, it's a loss. I only spent like $100 on it, which uh, I want to say I spent about $115. Um, so yeah, the hair came in within about a week. I just got it in today, and I just put it in, and the color did not come this way. So I'm going to insert a clip of what the hair looked like before I did anything to it, so you guys can see what it looked like. All right, so yeah, that's what the hair looked like before I got it. As you can see, it was like really yellow. Some people like that 613 blonde. I prefer not to have yellow blonde hair because that's just not me. So what I did to tone down the yellow tones is I used Wella T10 and I also used T28. So these two colors here. And I applied the T10 first and then I applied the T28 on top of it. So I didn't wash out the first toner, just put them on together washed it out and this was the results i was i wasn't really sure if i wanted brown roots or not so i went ahead and bought the 6nw dark natural warm blonde toner by willa as well so maybe later on i'll add that onto my hair so my first impression of the wig was it's really soft and not really small so i saw someone on their other youtube video say they bleached their 613 frontal wig but i really didn't see a reason to do so because you really can't see the knots i didn't pluck the hair it kind of came this way except i kind of moved some hairs around pulled out a few years but nothing major what I saw from AliExpress on the reviews, people were saying there were a lot of flyaways, the hair was thin, which is kind of true. The hair is thin, 100% thinner, but you can choose the density that you want. I chose 150, but the hair feels like two bundles in a frontal to me. But with the hair being 14 inches, I don't like my hair to be super thick. When it's shorter, I would want it to kind of mimic real hair that way it's not really thick and short so i'm gonna kind of sit up a little bit so you guys can see where it comes to so that's where it comes i trimmed about this much off maybe not even that much maybe that much hair because that's where the hair was real thin and straggly so it just really just needed a really good trim i can't say if you order a longer hair It'll be fuller, but only thin at the bottom. I don't know. Um, I can't tell you, oh, this hair is amazing. Go ahead and buy it today. Because like I said, I don't know. But I plan on doing like a one week update, letting you guys know how the hair does. If it holds a curl, if it mats, which hopefully it doesn't because it really seems like some good hair. I'm kind of debating now if I'm going to sleep in this wig or if I should take it off. I'm thinking I'm probably going to take it off. That way it could at least last me longer in that sense. Um, the hair, only time it shed it was whenever I was styling my hair for the first time, putting it on. As I've combed through my hair with my fingers and using the comb, doing this video 10 times, I haven't gotten any shedding on my clothes or anything. So, so far, so good. 
I can't really say anything negative. Um, it also has a little lace piece in the back. So if you wanted to pull your hair up in a ponytail, you could do that. But like I said in my last video, I will probably never do that. Um, also, the hair took about a week to get here, but I feel like that's kind of due to coronavirus delaying everything. So a week is still not that bad. And yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say about the hair. Oh, it came with this little wig cap. I have a big head, so I can't fit these. I mean, I can, but it's just a lot of work to get this on my head. It didn't come with like a FAQ or a thank you card or how to take care of your hair. It just came in a plain FedEx bag. And that was it. So... I hope this video was helpful. I'm going to put the link to the hair in my description box and the toners I use and everything else. So I will see you guys next week on Wednesday with the update on the hair. And make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share with a friend. And if you happen to try this hair out, tag me in your pictures or comment in the comment section and keep me updated. Thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you next time.